and welcome back to another brand new star stable video it is the day before our huge winter festival update and there is so much you need to know and this is probably one of the most important things alongside everything else i've been talking about but before we do get into all of these spoilers and the video definitely be sure to go check out my free 1000 star coin code giveaway up on my channel it is linked in the description down below and i will be picking the giveaway winner very very soon i also also have a free 500 star coins code up on my channel and since it is the holiday season like every year I will be hosting a bunch of giveaways for lifetime star rider just star rider in general star coins lots of star coins so definitely be sure to stay tuned on my channel for those as well and have notifications on so you don't miss out on it but as we know, every year Star Stable does a little advent calendar type of thing. And this year we are going to be getting 31 days of free stuff. Now, th I say stuff and not items because we are going to be getting a brand new free set this year. Possibly Star Coins, but we're also going to be getting like horse XP, player XP. And if you're new to the Winter Festival, let me just give how this works. But Star Stable has the advent little gift tree thingamajig in Winter Village, so you'll have to go to Winter Village for this. And once you're in Winter Village, you have to go to the tree. Under the tree, there are going to be 31 presents, and each day you can open one more. Now, if you did miss the day previous, or like the day prior, or two days prior, you know, you can still open them, bestie. So if you log on on an alternate account on the 31st day, or the last day that this update is out, then you will still be able to get all 31 gifts. So I like that. It's definitely helpful, especially since we're already the fifth day into december sixth day for some people it's we are going to be getting five gifts at the start now without any further ado let's get into what these gifts are what days you should log on and what you're going to be getting so you don't miss out on anything i am going to be using old footage from last year because honestly the winter racing is such a vibe and i just i'm so excited for the snow to come back this is literally last year and star stable is completely different i mean look at this the ui changed the player character is a huge one like it is crazy but anyways so all of these spoilers are by star stable spoilers underscore community and they are linked in the description down below so let's begin day one we are going to be getting this super cute knit hat and i am very happy to see star stable giving us a free set this year they usually do but sometimes the set doesn't have good stats or it's missing some items but it looks like this year we are going to be getting at least the full outfit of this set and it's really well made it is a super cute set i also showed this in my spoiler video so go check it out if you haven't where i bought the brand new two horses day two we are going to be getting 100 player xp which I am happy they brought player XP back to these sort of seasonal events so you guys can level up, especially if you're someone that is like stuck right at the top of a level and you just need that little extra XP. This is definitely helpful for those players. And yeah, there is a chance to level up this year. I know with the quests, we are also probably going to be getting some horse XP. So that is super exciting to think about as well. Next. Next, day three, we are going to be get getting five apples, five carrots, and five oranges. So if you are someone that doesn't use stable care or you just care for your horses for the little memory snapshot in general, or you just care for your horses, this could be very helpful to you. I know always having a little snack for your horse in your inventory is super helpful because your horse with the snapshot memories too like you know you could keep getting that xp and just that extra added xp for caring for your horse can do quite a lot so i always recommend having a little bit in your inventory that is actually what i do i always have like a stack of hay 
from the time I glitched it. But anyways, that was two years ago. <laughs> Three years ago. <laughs> so we're not going to mind that. Anyways, day four, we are going to be getting a free 500 horse XP. So also, remember when claiming these gifts, if they are horse XP, to be riding the horse you want the XP for, okay? Because girl, if you are opening these gifts on your maxed horse, you are going to miss out on some valuable horse XP, especially 500, because that is quite a lot and it is a seasonal event and it's a one-time gift so make sure you are not riding a level 15 horse when claiming these gifts if you forget what day's horse xp are just ride a not maxed horse or maybe like a level 10 horse i usually ride a level 8 to level 14 i'd say level 12 horse 8 to 12 is probably a good range for these seasonal events to start out on so just in case you are not going to be missing any of that valuable horse xp next day five we are going to be getting 2000 yorvik shillings which is good but I, I hope we're getting more Yorvik shillings because all of the items are super expensive, especially the seasonal ones. Like at least 5,000 for like a pair of gloves, sometimes like 10,000. I don't know why they cap the Yorvik shillings at 10,000. That is kind of annoying because some items are 10,000 and then you miss out on those extra shillings. Like there should be a leftover Yorvik shillings bank that Star Riders can cash out on every now and then and it gives you back all of the Yorvik shillings that you lost. It could be a piggy bank in your home stable. That is such a cute idea because like people put the money in the piggy bank and then you could open the piggy bank kind of like Movie Star Planet did. Anyways... Day six, we are getting this super cute knit top. Again, I did show this entire set in my video. So go sure, go, I was gonna say, be sure to go check it out and go check it out <laughs> at the same time, but go check it out if you haven't already. I love this set. I think it's called like the granny winter set or something but it looks super cozy and cute and honestly really well made. I do know that for all of these items we are getting, they are going to have great stats as well. So that is always something to look forward to. Day seven is still unknown or undecided. It was not in the code yet, so that's interesting. Day eight, we are getting some snowflake tokens, winter tokens, or this year I'm guessing it might be called winter magic or that might just be another form of currency we are going to have. But Star Stable mentioned us collecting Winter Magic this year and grinding for Winter Magic. So I am curious to see what they mean by that. But that we are going to be getting some tokens too, which I don't know if that's a lot. We'll have to see how like the currency is this year and how many tokens it'll cost for an item or a pet. Day nine, we are getting the set's pants pretty cute, pretty cute. They just look like regular sweatpants. And day 10, some cute red mittens to match. Next, day 11, another day that you want to make sure you don't have a maxed horse for. Again, super important because I remember opening these, I think, last year with a maxed horse, and I literally wasted so much XP, and I was not happy about it, but you can't do anything once you open the gift. Like, it's not going to stay there, so definitely pro tip, do not have a maxed horse. I will say this a million times, but do it not because I swear you will forget the days that horse XP are unless you write it down. And also, it's just good to not have a maxed horse so that you can participate in the races and quests and get all of that XP without wasting any of it. Day 12, we are getting another 100 horse XP. I mean, player XP. And this is super interesting because we have 200 player XP so far for this year. I wonder if we'll get more. Moving on, day 13, we have super cute shoes. These are actually tennis shoes. They remind me of Converse so much, but they have the little logo on the side. Another great shoe style in Star Stable. These are so detailed. And again, just really, really cute. I really like these. Let me know what you think of this set, but I am excited to get it this year. I think, again, it is just super cute, detailed, well-made, and also good stats, which is a great find because, again, in previous years, we used to get bad stats. Or even with codes, we'd get bad stats, but Star Stable has refrained from doing that, which I really like to see. 
Day 14 is coffee with milk and a cinnamon roll and tea. So if you like to sit down at a cafe, which I actually have not seen one player sit down at a cafe since the player update. So that'll be kind of interesting if people will use it right away. But I don't even know if they added more animations for like sitting or again, I think you just kind of stare at your food until it leaves. So I mean, <laughs> there's that, but it is still fun to have the free items. So let me know what you think. Day 15, we are getting 2,000 more Jorvik shillings. What did my voice do? I don't even know, but 2,000 Jorvik shillings. So in total so far, we've got 4,000 Jorvik shillings. Next, day 16, we, 16, we have a very cute bridle for our horse. Again, the granny set. If you zoom in, there's actually like knitting across the top and that is such a cute detail. Day 17, we have the granny saddle pad. I hope this is called the granny set and I'm not messing it up because that would be kind of awkward in the future. Anyways, it'll just be called that from now on just in case. And day 18, we get two more snowflake tokens winter tokens, winter magic, whatever it is this year. I did to see how like the grinding is going to work because they did mention we'd have to log on quite a lot and a picture of collecting the items. So I am curious, but if we could get so many free items, I think it is definitely going to be worth it. And I wonder what sets are going to be on sale for star coins and which ones are going to be on sale for free items, but we'll just have to wait and find out Day 19, we have more horse food. Again, if you don't use stable care or for shared memories, or if you're just someone that actually takes care of their horses, by the way, congratulations if you are. That is very lovely and your horses, thank you for it. I'm looking at you, Patricia, only buying stable care. Yeah, you. That's me too. Anyways, um, apple, carrot, and orange times five. Day 20, what is this? Day 20? Girl, I don't know what day 20 is. Anyways, let me know what you think that is, but maybe it's like another variation of the saddle pad. I'm not too sure. I don't think it's going to be the horse though. Day 21 is still undecided or unknown. Day 22, another day you need an unmaxed horse. We are getting 1.5k worth of horse XP so far, which again is definitely quite a lot for the winter update, but that is super. If you want that extra XP, especially when training your horses, just head to the tree because you are gonna get more XP, like a, a ton of XP in just a short amount of time. Whereas if you train for 1.5K XP, it does kind of take a while. Day 23, we are getting 100 player XP. So much player XP this year. Okay, I kind I will I level up? Will I level up? Actually, my level right now, I will not. I am less than halfway to level 23, but you know, we're still, we're slowly doing it. I still have to find Catherine's memories, but anyways, day 24, we are getting the matching saddle. This one is also cute. If you look on the stirrup, there is the matching kind of red roven, woven kind of theme going on there to match the set. Day 25 is SC question mark. And now I know a lot of people are usually expecting at least 100 star coins during the holidays. And I feel like maybe Star Stable might do it this year because they have been listening to players more. At least, at least they have been changing the game, adding more gameplay and stuff. So it definitely, I feel like they might. But the past two years, we have not seen a star coin code, so do not get your hopes up, bestie. But again, this year, I feel like we actually might get star coins just more so than last year's. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I feel like Star Stable will give us star coins this year. I'm looking forward to it if they do. Day 26, we get another 2,000 Jorvik shillings. So we are at a total of 6,000. Day 27, we have a speckled saddlebag. I love the details on all these items, by the way. These are, again, just the cutest and the little speckles. Like, ooh, it's snowing. Also on the saddle, it looks like there might be speckles as well. So that is cute. Day 28 is a snowman, question mark. And I think, again, Star Stable does give us a free pet throughout the advent. I just call it advent because it's easier, even though it is 31 days. But anyways, throughout the little gifting event, because... 
I don't know, in previous years we got like a Yule Goat and stuff, and it's always so much fun to see what we're going to get. This year, it seems like we are going to be getting a pet snowman! So I am curious to see how this will play out and how Star Stable will make a pet snowman. But that'll be so cute in the saddlebags too. Like, hey, little snowman. And will he like roll on the ground? I don't know. Star Stable has gotten really unique with the pets, the pet animations, like the penguins. Those are so cute too. But we are getting that. Day 29, we are getting 500 horse XP. So now we're at a total of 2,000 horse XP throughout this entire event. Day 30, 15 tokens. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, okay, I am shocked. Um, With the past two, the two tokens each time, I was not expecting this. But this is going to be helpful, especially if you need a little boost of tokens to get your favorite item before the season leaves. And day 31, we are getting fireworks times three for the New Year's update. And the update will be leaving after one week of this. So you will still have one extra week to collect all of the items on alt accounts, experience the update on alt accounts, anything like that. But that is the entire advent this year. I like that it's spoiled so, you know, you don't have to wake up early or feel like you're missing anything. I will get you guys updated if they do share like the Starcoins code or if they do share the stuff. Other little question mark, you know, what's upcoming, advents. Actually, now that I think about it, I think Star Stable did give us a Star Queen code last year. I don't know, I can't remember, but I feel like I made a TikTok about it. Anyways, I will update you guys, but I have, I really think Star Stable is going to give us Star Coins this year, which I am excited for. Maybe, I think it's 300 that they give out during these events, 300 star coins, and I think we did get a 300 star coin cone last year. If we did, that definitely means we're getting one this year, but let me know if they did or didn't in the comments, and as always, stay tuned as I will have so many guides, tips, and, and how to get everything super fast for the winter update on my channel, and also go check out my giveaways if you haven't already. I hope you have a great day, bestie. Bye-bye.